You know, go within means, first of all, to understand the fact that your interaction with the outside world is only through your mind, right? How do you interact with the outside world? Only through your mind. Therefore, to go... Now, traditionally, in the Vedantic language, it's called Nivrti Marga, which is opposite of Pravrti Marga, which means, generally, it's our tendency to look outside for everything. With the center here, I look outside for good food, for good... I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong. I'm just saying how it works. I, I look outside for all enjoyment. I look outside for satisfaction. I look Also, when something happens which gives me unhappiness outside, I run from it. You know, here, when you say look inside, it means to turn the mind and look, go deep within. You may have an image, you may not have an image, it doesn't matter. It's not necessary that you should have an image. For some people, it, the mind cannot be concentrated on something without a nama and a rupa. So they need something. They could. There are others who can just go into a feeling of quietness. So when you say go within, it doesn't mean go within and look. It simply means go within, which means for some time, stop all external movements and retire into yourself. That's what it means. You see, it's very interesting. Suppose, what you are searching for, suppose, which may be the truth, may be the ultimate truth also. Okay, now if it is where you are sitting, and I don't have it, and I am sitting here, then I have to move towards you, right, to find it in a linear way. What if what I am seeking is here, there and everywhere? What will I do? Nothing. So, going within means when I understood, understand this fact and I say the best thing is no movement anywhere. All movement has ceased. Everything has settled down. There is the truth. If, if the truth, theoretically, let's say, is here, there, everywhere. I cannot reach for it, right? I don't have to because if it is here, it is here. So, what do I do? Stop all reaching. It's a mind state, not a physical state. Having found that what I am seeking is inside me, I say, why am I running outside? Let me quieten down. Perhaps when the mind is extremely quiet, I will understand this. That is the meaning of saying going within. Sometimes it helps to have a sound or an image, all this. Because the mind is an entity which cannot stay blank. It likes to be engaged somewhere. So if you don't engage in the outside world, it won't stay blank, it will try to invent more things outside. So instead of that, if you engage it in something internal. Now, if you don't want an image, and if you don't want a sound, if you don't want a thought, one best thing is give attention to the breath. Then what happens? The mind is not blank. Mind refuses to stay blank. It's like vacuum. Nature abhors a vacuum. You try to make a vacuum, air rushes in. In the same way, the mind. So instead, if you need to calm it down, first thing you need to do is to turn it into some engagement which is internal, not external. And the breath is the best. Turn the mind to the breath, which means what? When you breathe normally, we are not aware of our breath. It's going on. Become aware of your breath. This is also part of Kriya, I'm just telling you. Be aware of the breath. So your mind is engaged in something internal, not external. Gradually that will also disappear and it will settle down.